سورہ الانفطار اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ اسٹارٹڈ دس سورہ آلسو ود دا ڈسکرپشن آف دا ڈے آف ریزرکشن اینڈ دین دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ اینڈ بفور دا ڈے آف ریزرکشن دا لاسٹ آور دا قیامہ وین دا ہول ورلڈ ول کم ٹو این اینڈ سو واٹ ووڈ بی دا سچویشن سو اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ سے ادھر سما ان فطرت وین دا ہیون will be cleft asunder, will be broken into pieces. Sama, this heaven will become or will cleft asunder. This is the meaning of infitar. So infitar when something is broken into pieces. Can we say split? Will be split into? Ha, will be split no, into pieces. What is the root word for inkitab? Infitar. Infitar? Fatara. 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 Yes. Fatara. That means to break? Yes. To uh, cleave ascender. وَإِذَلْ كَوَاكِبٌ تَسَرَتْ And when the stars, كَوَاكِبٌ is the stars, in تَسَرَتْ will be scattered. In tasarat means to be scattered. Like if you have beads in your hands and you just throw them and they are scattered everywhere. So the, all these nujums and the kawakib, they all will be scattered. <coughs> kawakib, same as nujum. We have one word nujum, this is kawakib. And this is the jama. The singular kawakib of is kaw kaw. Kaw kaw. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think in the previous uh, surah which we... Mm. Takweer. Uh, yeah, there was a different word which was used. Uh, khunnas. Khunnas. Ah, but khunnas is very specified stars. You remember we talked about we those about five about stars? Mm-hmm. Ah. Right. So they are called khunnas. And they are the jama of khanis. And kawakib or the word nujum, they are generalized. All the stars, including those five stars, they are all kawakib. <coughs> okay. okay, so in tasarat meaning to be scattered. Wa idal bihar ufujjarat. And when the oceans, bihar is the jama of bahar, mm-hmm. the oceans will be burst beyond their boundaries. You know, like uh, the, you can associate the, with the situation of tsunami. When the tsunami comes, what happens? The, all the water of the oceans, it is coming out of the boundaries. Mm. Overflowing. Overflowing, yes. It's mm. Yeah. Good. This is the meaning of fujjarat. Uh, the literal meaning of tafjir, the word tafjir is tearing apart. So something that's torn apart. So that will be the situation of the oceans. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ فُجِّرَتْ وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ بُعْثِرَتْ So so far it was the time that is the called Qiyamat. These things, then the day of resurrection will take place. So how the day of resurrection will take place? All the graves will be overturned. So whatever is inside the graves, all the human beings, those who are buried, they will be out of their graves. So grave is like, uh, you know, something you can imagine like something is in the box and you take out all those things from the box and they are uh, (coughs) overturned. So this is the expiration of Bu'asirat. So the graves will be laid open and everything that is inside, it will be out. وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ Bu'asirat. So Qubur is the jama of Qabr. Can, can we take from this uh, ayah that the earth will still exist 
uh, after the day of judgment. on the day of resurrection yeah i mean mm -hmm. that there would still be something like a planet called earth after after that yes uh, uh, the uh, the real nature of the earth also is known to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because everything will be changed in other ayat of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he described on the, the, what will be the situation of the creation on that day. He says that uh, the heavens and the earth, they will be changed. They will not be remaining same as we are seeing today. Yawma tughayyaru al ard When the earth will be changed. So the real, uh, you know, nature of the earth is known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But uh, yes, uh, you know, till the moment when this earth will throw whatever is inside, it will be the same. Um, Inshallah, we have to, after two surah, or the next surah, I believe, is a sema unshaqqat surah inshaqa. In Surah in Shikaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said about the earth, وَأَلْقَتْ مَا فِيهَا وَتَخَلَّتْ That the earth will deliver whatever is inside, it will deliver it outside. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ وَأَخَّرَتْ So on that day, now from here is the day of judgment. On that day, every soul, every human soul will comprehend, will know whatever it has sent forth and whatever it left behind. Okay. So whatever we are doing the good deeds, so it is like we are sending it forth. It is our preparation. Hmm? So on that day everyone will realize that how much he has sent forth for the Day of Judgment. And what he missed, what he was supposed to do, more good deeds, but he could not do. So on that day, everyone will realize it. So, Ma Look at the uh, literal meaning of every word. Alimat, Alimat is from Ilm. Nafsun, the soul. So the soul, yeah, like every human soul will know. Ma qaddamatu. Ma means what? What it has sent forth. So qaddamat, something sending forth, like your preparation. Wa akharat, and what he left behind. Okay, so all the good deeds that we are doing, we will know about that. And the other good deeds that we could not do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the chance to every person, but there are so many people, they did not avail this chance and they left behind. And if they could not do those good deeds, so they will realize. They could not or they did not? <laughs> they did not, yes. Uh, I mean, could not mean that. He could not do it, but did not mean that he didn't do it. Didn't yeah, do it. yeah, he could do, but he did not. <laughs> And, uh, and also, you know, there are so many sins that the, the people, those who are doing the good deeds, and they refrain from, from those sins. So this, is a, uh, this also will be counted as a good deed. And there are uh, people, those who committed the sins. Hmm? So this also, it comes from Qaddamat. So the bad deeds also will be sent forth. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, akharat from akhara? Ha, it is something that comes later, that is leaving behind. Takhir. Urdu we, we say, you know, takhir, delayed. Something de delayed. Yani they uh, did not get the chance, they did not, they got the chance, but they did not do it. Ya ayyuha al-insan, O mankind, ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem, what deceived you, 
Gharraka means deceived you, uh, deceiving, like uh, what lured you away. Birabbikal Kareem, from your Rabb, from your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is most generous, who is most merciful, who is most bountiful. So while you are enjoying all the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the bounties of Allah in this dunya, so how come that you forgot about Him? What thing deceived you from Allah? Alladhi khalaqaka, the one who created you. Alladhi khalaqaka, the one who created you. Fasawwaka, then he fashioned you. Sawwa, you sawwi taswiya to make some, uh, in every human being in its uh, perfect nature. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, made our hands, our legs, our face, our body in proportion. That is the meaning of taswiya. Fasawwaka. Fa'adalak. So then he... Uh, uh, by balanced. nature is it from other balance ah uh, balanced yes so he made a balance in your creation and balance in your uh, parts of the body mm. so like proportion so these allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding all his you know favors and these bounties that he created you, then he shaped you, molded you in a best shape, and he gave you all the abilities, all the faculties of, uh, you know, intellect, intellect, he made you intellectual and all that. So these are the qualities of human beings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with. Fi ayyi suratim ma sha'arakkabar and in which uh, you know shape and form uh, Allah he has uh, created us and he put everyone together he put us together like there are so many billions of human beings but no one is resembling the others in this exact manner everyone has its own different surah and shape and the form uh, so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is molded to many human beings in different form uniqueness yes. uniqueness so fi ayyi surah in whatever surah he wanted he put us together right okay. he wants rakkaba rakkaba it's from tarkib when you put together like uh, uh, different pieces of the puzzles when you put them together or blocks different blocks when you put them together and you make a shape of that this is the expression of the word rakkaba so it looks like that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he put everyone together and he is uh, making those blocks and <laughs> right blocks of clay yes so fi ayye ayye means in which in in a, any any shape so ayye surah in any surah in any shakal in any form in any shape rakkaba beautiful you know surah and beautiful meaning Okay, now look at the comparison between the two surah. Actually, both of them, the previous surah Takweer and this surah in Fatar, they are kind of like twin surahs. Mm -hmm. Hmm? The, the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing, the theme of the surah is same, and the day of resurrection, the description of those you know, days of judgment in that surah and this surah, so, but still, every surah is unique. So, the uniqueness of the previous surah was that after describing all these uh, events, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established the credibility of the Quran 
and Jibreel alayhi salam and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Okay. And in this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after the description of these events, He is uh, mentioning His own favors, His uh, blessings, His bounties on the human beings. That He created you, and not only created you just like that, but in a very planned manner, you know, like He fashioned you, He nurtured you, He also gave you the different shapes, and he made your aada, your parts of the body in proportion. So after on then he blessed you with so many faculties of, uh, and he made you intellectual, or you, he gave you so many abilities. So how come that you forgot about the creator? And you are not uh, realizing it, you are not worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what's the meaning of anfitah? Infitar. Infitar. Uh, infitar, we said that as there's... Uh, Broken into pieces. Breaking into pieces or split, splitting. Disintegrating. Mm. Disintegrating. Okay, so... Uh, now I want you to also know from the grammatical point of view the verb and the noun, right? Can you uh, differentiate and identify the nouns and the verb? So in the first ayah is a sama unfatarat. What is the noun and what is the verb? Sama is the noun. Sama is the noun. Unfatarat is the verb. It's a past tense. And in Arabic, the word Sama is being used as a feminine gender. Mm -hmm. Is the feminine gender. That's why the verb in fitar, in fatarat. Mm -hmm. okay. If it would be a male word, then it should be in fatara. Mm -hmm. Again, wa idal kawaki buntasarat. So okay. noun is kawaki, okay. and the verb is in tasarat. Again, female. And kawaki is the plural. And this is the Arabic, uh, you know, grammar that the plural of non-human things, it is always used as the feminine gender. So that's why in Tasarat verb for the Kabaki. Waidal Biharu Fujirat. So Bihar is noun, Fujirat is the verb. Same thing happened that Bihar is the plural of non-human. So it has been used as feminine gender. وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ بَعْثِرَتْ Qubur is noun, بَعْثِرَتْ is the verb. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ So عَلِمَتْ is the verb, نَفْسٌ is noun. مَا قَدَّمَتْ وَأَخَّرَتْ So قَدَّمَتْ وَأَخَّرَتْ they are both verb. يَا أَيُّهَا الْإِنسَانِ Insan is now. The nafsun here is a human. Soul. It doesn't refer to it. It's not human. It's not like, okay. Human soul. So the word nafs itself, it is a feminine gender. Ya ayyuhi ma gharraka. So ma means what? That is interrogative particle. And gharra is verb. Ka is pronoun. Ka means you. Bi Rabbi Kal Kareem. So you know the word Rabb is noun. Ka again, your. And Bi means with. What deceived you with your Lord. Al Kareem is the quality of Rabb. Alladhi Khalafaka. The one who created you. So Khalaqa is verb. Ka is you. Pronoun. This type of pronoun is called object pronoun. Fasawwaka. Sawwa is verb and ka is pronoun. Fa'adala. Verb and then pronoun. So adala is verb and ka is pronoun. Fi ayyi suratim. In which shape? So fi is preposition and because of the preposition of fi, the next word, ayyi, has the kasra. Uh, yeah. 
This is the effect of fee. Sura. Shape. Picture or uh, Noun. shape. Noun. 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 Ma sha'a. Uh, what? Sha'a is verb. What? what? Uh, ma means what? Sha'a. And sha'a is verb. Rakkabak. <coughs> so rakkaba is verb. Is Put it together and ka is used. So, so there are two words together? Sha'a and rakkaba. Mm -hmm. But bo both of them, they have different meanings. So, so what? Uh, you can bring two verbs, three verbs, uh, one after the other. Okay. <laughs> I thought usually in a sentence there is one word. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. have many, many passes. See, yeah. in, in, yeah. American, in American English, there can be five also. <laughs> you are sitting and listening. That's one. One sentence, but two words. You're sitting and listening and understanding. <laughs> three, <laughs> three. Mm -hmm. three. <laughs> and taking notes. <laughs> and writing. And over and over. And over again as well. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. We got a bush. 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 We got a سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رحمة الله